Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Today I'm going to be doing stages 9 to 14 of the Diagostini Collectibles release and build the International Space Station. And look, check this out, I've got my Wonderfest Crew t-shirt, which I managed to get hold of this year. Couldn't get hold of one uh, last year, looking pretty cool. I had to queue for hours for this. <laughs> not not really. I had to queue a little while for this. In fact, Lou Dal Meso started the queue. So uh, he should be English, because you know what us English are like? We like to start queues. Uh, today we're going to be continuing that six stages today. If you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description, and there's also a QR code on the screen. I'm not sure what parts we're going to need that we've already built, so I haven't got anything up here at the moment. But these are the parts that we're going to be working on today. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So here we go, stage nine. Again, each stage does come with its own magazine detailing all about rocket flight history and the International Space Station. And uh, we're going to be continuing to work on the base. I forgot we are working on the base. And we have got some pieces here as well. So we're going to be adding another, uh, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're at another hexagon <laughs> to the base here. And then we're going to be continuing to build on what we've already just created. So just as a reminder, this is the base that we've been working on so far. And this is the arm or the limb that we uh, have been working on as well. So this is the base we've been working on. I'm going to be adding this section here like that. We do have, if you remember, we put a uh, triangular support in which is going to be going into this side as well. So what I'm going to do is put that over as well. So everything is kind of in place for when I'm actually putting this in. So now that's what that's looking like from that side. Uh, but it is going to be held in with these bolts, which I've got here, and the nuts, which I've got here. So just a case of putting these in. Now they do go opposite ways. So if you put a bolt in one way, on the next one, the nut goes in another way. You do know because there's a recess for the nut to sit into. So let's just get all these in. And then to hold this section here, I've got some AS8 screws. <laughs> I've just remembered this build because I remembered the name of the screws. Uh, I do forget. You wait till we get to uh, AS5 screws. <laughs> But we need three of these AS8 screws just to put this support into the base here. So when that's in, that should look just like that. Put that to one side. And I need to bring over what we created in the last pack, looking like this. This is this metal uh, structure here. And I've got a structure that I'm going to be putting on top of it. Now it is shaped at the top of it, so it can only go in one way. It's going to go in that way just like that so it sits on top and it's held in with one of these s uh, sorry ms4 screws and that goes all the way down the center there get that in nice and tight and then bringing over what we've been working on previously we're actually going to be putting this into place it's going to go on just like that there and again these metal screws here to hold this into place one there and one just here and there you go with that in place that's all there is to do in that stage in stage 10 here's the magazine looking like this and I'm guessing we're going to be continuing to build onto that. So we've got a base section here. We've got another uh, uh, module there to put on. Uh, it looks like we're putting the rod in here with the bracket on the top. And then we're adding another module just to the end of that limb there. So that's looking like that. I wonder why we're doing the base so early. I'm wondering if we can mount that now. I think that may be the, the idea. But I will bring up... The base here and put this in here now let's see if it goes in a certain way I don't think it goes in a certain way it's going to go in just like that there 
We do have a top piece to put on as well, like this. And that is how that's going to be looking on there. We don't need that now. I can put that on the floor. But as you can see, we do have another metal module here where this is going to be going, it's expanding onto what we've just created here. So this one's actually going to be going in here like that. And again, it's going to be held in with those MS4 screws. These are the metal ones here. Now I can tell you now that this is all metal and this is quite weighty in my hands at the moment. So there is going to be a lot of weight to this space station. But that is now those two sections in like this. And we do have a detail just to put at the end of that, making sure I'm not crushing anything, which is this little detail here which is going to be going into this hole just here. I'm seeing how it fits. It actually fits quite tight in there, so I'm not going to glue that in, as you can see. But there we go, that's that little detail in place. That's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 11, here's the magazine. What are we going to be doing? I haven't looked at these previously, so I've got no idea. Uh, we've got another part of the base here, looking like that. I'm guessing that's going to go into the other side, as you can see there. Uh, we do get to actually mount this then. That's going to be interesting uh, to the base. So that's why we're doing the base early. Uh, we've got another bracket to put on top of this here. So by the end of it, it's now looking just like that. It's going to be an interesting stage, this one. Look at that. So here's all the parts for stage 11. Let's bring the base back up. Now I'm at the point where I've had to zoom out a couple of cameras now, because if this is going to be sitting on the base like this, once again, a rod in here and the bracket, then uh, we're going to need to be able to see this. So once that's in, this is going to be sitting onto these points here. Now we've got two holes at the bottom of this. So one's going to go on this side and one's going to go on this side. Let me get this in. There you go. I'm just seeing if there's a different way it goes in, and there is a different way. I've put it the other way around, it tilts. So uh, you don't want it tilted, you want it perfectly flat. But that is how that is looking there. Nice. So I'm guessing we're working on this uh, while it's on the stand now. Because what I need to do is put this bracket here over the top of this section just here. So it's at this point where I've realized I've made an almighty mistake and I can't rectify it because um, it would mean taking all of this off. Now, unfortunately, this section just here is sealed. If you remember, we put screws in and then we put these clips in the top here to keep that into place. But what I've done is this armature inside here should have been flipped. So even though I've got the small side on this end here, and all of these modules coming away from the uh, short side, that's correct. But these should be on this side of that limb. And I'm trying to think of myself, is there a way to fix this? Because when I get to this stage here, I need to put this bracket in. Now, it can be hidden if I put the bracket in this way. So that's probably going to be my solution. I've already tested it, and uh, the bracket will work in that position. But it does mean that this section here is the wrong way around. From here, this is meant to drop down into this section, not go up into this section. But unfortunately, I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to fix this problem. So uh, uh, I make mistakes so you don't have to. But I can put the screws in here to actually put this into place. I'm hoping when I put the top part of this on, it's going to, uh, be able to close which I'm going to figure out in the next stage I'm sure but uh, there you go my uh, my International Space Station has got slightly different to others that rather than go down here or this bit it's this bit that's different mine's going up see it goes to show you need attention to detail right at the start of this build but uh, unfortunately there's nothing I can do to fix it short of taking the whole thing apart and then that might cause extra problems. I mean, I think it's gonna work, but uh, what a pain, what a pain. <laughs>
but there you go, that's all there is to do in that stage. So here is stage 12. Here's the magazine. And I'm hoping we're going to put the other sides of those things on. We've got some more module there to put on, just like this. Uh, we're not actually adding this at the moment, so this is all it's looking like so far. I think after this time, I am going to make a t-shirt that says, I make mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> uh, but this one's quite a simple stage. All we're going to be doing is putting this end here into this end just here. So it's going to go in like this. There is a notch for it to fit flat there. And it's going to be held in with one of these R screws. It's like the uh, it's like the build is insulting me and telling me what you did was wrong. That makes you an ass. <laughs> I suppose I had that coming. So we're going to do is just push that in like this. And once that's all in tight, that is all there is to do in that stage. So here is stage 13, looking at the magazine. And we have got some panels now to put on, which we're gonna be making this together here. And the piece we just created is gonna go into that. So it does look like we are now making another module. You know what, my, my OCD is playing up big time. I'm, I'm, I am considering taking the whole thing apart, but I'll have to do that off camera. I think that like more R screws, they just, it's not forgiving <laughs> it's not forgiving at all okay uh, so I'm going to take this base looking just like this and I'm going to be having it that way around uh, because I'm going to be putting a piece on top which is this one here this is just going to be going over that indent like that so it's in that side I'm going to be closing that off with this side here which goes over the top to piece everything together so that's looking like that, and it's held in with two of these R screws. One there, and one on this side. Then I've just got these two details to put on top. They just press in, so I've got one going on this side here, just hiding the screws there, and I've got another one going on this side here just to hide the screws. So I've got this little detail now. And then what I'm going to be doing is what we've just created here. There's a place for me to slide this assembly in just like that there. So now that is looking just like that there. And that's all there is to do in that stage. So this is the last stage, stage 14 showing you the magazine here and we have now got a few more sections to do here where I'm adding some details to what we've just created so now that's looking just like that so we're not actually working on the limb section at all now so taking what we've just been working on I do have some more sections here that I need to slide in so one is going to go in here just like that this side of these yellow posts I've got another one going in the other side over here. And we do have this tab here facing the main body of the top there. And I've got a third one, which is just gonna go in this side here. Now, if I just keep that just to one side for a second, because I do have one inside this plastic here, which I'm gonna to need to assemble, because I got this little top just to go on here. Make sure it's round the right way, like this. And I want to screw this into place with one of the <laughs> R screws. Because this one, similar to what we've just done, is actually just going to go between these two here. So let me just uh, figure out how it goes between these two. I think it just slots in like that. So we've got three on one side, one on the top. And we are going to close these all in now by putting this cap on. Perfect. Fits flush in there. 
And then we've got some of these metal MS4 screws to put this together. So one in there. And one just at the bottom there. Perfect. So that looks just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. That's actually all there is to do in that pack. Now my OCD is playing up. How do we fix this? So to fix this problem, if I was going to do that, what I'd need to do is take this off and I'd need to flip over this whole armature that's connected inside here. Once I've done that, then I need to change the direction of all of these. So that would then be going on this side. This I can unscrew, that'll go on that side. That bit's pretty much the easy bit. Getting into that bit's gonna be the hard bit. So uh, let me have a quick tinker, see if I can do this. So I've had a quick look at seeing if I can, because my OCD is driving me crazy, if I can fix this. Unfortunately, I can't. The reason being is because I'd, I'd need to get into this section here. Uh, but I can't do that because we had to seal up the holes uh, to cover the screw holes. So they were glued in, I believe. And I've also done the same on this one here. I've got two, I'll show you on the close-up camera. I've got two little hole fillers here, which I've glued in. And to pry them out, I'm going to be damaging it. Um, I think we're not going to have a problem with this because the other half's going to go on here, no problems at all. We're not going to have a problem at this end because it's symmetrical, so there's going to be no problems at all there. I may have a problem getting these two bits to go together when I put something on top of here because I think that might take up too much space. If that's the case, I might end up grinding an area out here for that to fit in. So what I think I'd rather have my fix is for this to be looking exactly like that, but without this section going down at the moment, mine's going up and I can't turn it around uh, because I do need this short end to be in the same direction uh as everything else on here <laughs> so otherwise it would have been just a case of flipping it over and just reversing these around but i can't do that so uh let that be a lesson to your kids i make mistakes so you don't have to i haven't made a king size cock up like that on the channel for a long time but i know that my mistakes seem to be entertaining to the public <laughs> this will probably get a million views now because of that but uh there you go so if you are building this you really do need to check which way round you've got your uh, your centre axle, because believe me, that's the first two things we put together. And if that's not correct, then uh, you're going to have a bad time later on down. And this is just one of the limbs. So uh, I'm hoping that I will be able to fix this somehow uh, in the coming stages. I'm sure I will, but uh, it's going to be a pain. Anyway, I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care. And as you can see, Yay! It's correct. It's now going the right way. I had to take the whole lot apart and put it back together again. But uh, <laughs> I weren't going to leave it. I weren't going to sleep. But, you know, it enforces the point. I make mistakes so you don't have to. So I guarantee if you're starting to build this, you will make sure that you've got that center section completely the right way around. Anyway, take care.